What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. We're back in the garage. Uh, took a little bit of time off from everything. Uh, we're back. Uh, here's the one thing I gotta do now is uh, just looking at these uh, strut mounts on the car. I think I'm gonna trace it down with the cardboard, make a template and go cut that like a quarter inch thick plate sticking out a little bit and then i'm gonna redo these mounts get this plate all the way to the top and then weld that to the top um, plate that i make because this is not gonna hold much with the weight of this engine and transmission one not these usually break even if i brace them as i was gonna do it this is pretty thin so i'm gonna extend this plate a little bit out and uh, redo this mount anyways i was gonna do it instead of an inch and a quarter two inch and a half extend this plate all the way to the top this one is high enough uh, I can weld this piece right here to that plate once that plate sits in nice I can weld that and uh, I think that's gonna be way better plus weld this plate to the rest of this with these two braces it should be good uh, worst case scenario I mean I'm gonna I probably should leave piece this way as well so I can run my make it like some kind of strut bar or make maybe uh, we'll see actually probably have like maybe weld two small pieces here and have a strut bar that's gonna be removable so now I'm just getting all kind of ideas I don't know why I never thought of that but here it is now, so that's new idea. It sure looks something like this once I'm all done. Hopefully I got everything nice. Something like this. Plus I'll add another quarter inch all the way around. That way it's sticking out a little bit. And then I can walk all that. But I wanna call my buddy Alex Buck with Upcountry Fab. He's one of my good friends and also my sponsor. So uh I want to see if he has any time for tomorrow even though he just got back from Mexico from vacation I'm gonna see if he has any time let's see what he says maybe tomorrow morning oh we're not even gonna pick up too busy after all that drinking in Mexico guess who's calling Yo! What are you doing? Working my ass off. What are you doing? Miss me yet? Always. Always. You better say that. Hey, uh. I know what the saying when you say it. <laughs> especially when there's a camera rolling. Right? Yeah, people are listening, man. Hey, uh, how's your schedule today after work? Um, I. Time, I guess. What's up? I need I need a few brackets cut. I got three sixteens I can bring. Okay. Yeah. What time? Well, uh, it all depends what time you want me to be there. Oh, I would say like five or something like that would give me enough time. That way I don't have to wait. Okay, perfect. I'll be there at five. How's that? Perfect. Uh, thanks, man. Love you. Love you too. I'll see you then. See ya. Bye. He never disappoints, man. This guy I met on Craigslist, I uh, was selling some uh, DSM 
Mitsubishi parts. It's how we met. And then we became really good friends. Next thing you know, that's been years. This kid is a hardworking guy. He started pretty much from nothing. Even though when everybody was doubting me, him, now he uh, built some badass trucks and traction bars and ships, ships them through the whole country, even out uh, to Europe. Uh, so it's good to have a friend, especially friend with the plasma cutter table and whatnot. It just makes my life way easier. Uh, when I was building my Fiat Busa, he cuts bazillion brackets for me, helps out. And uh, there it is, pink, favorite color of his. So let's get back to uh, cutting and uh, I guess I gotta be at his shop at 5 p.m. so I can get these brackets cut. I got the plate welded in. Uh, I stepped up from inch and a quarter to uh, inch and a half. Uh, plus I wanna get a better angle. So now I wanna get it more straight. Uh, something like this. And now I just gotta start cutting it up and lowering it down. And that should give me uh, an angle that I need. Which means I have to cut it right here and just start lowering it down more. Okay, so the first cut was already a success. Now I just gotta start notching this pipe and lower it down. And that will drop this as well. Maybe just straight it up. And that's gonna look way better than the first one did. I got the angle that I want. Now all I gotta do now is match one more pipe for the other side and uh, I think it looks better and more sturdier if I just use inch and a half instead of an inch and a quarter that I started off. And uh, this is inch and a half 095 so that's the thickness I went with and uh, after I'm all done gonna look really good finally it's warming up outside I can actually keep the door open don't mind the mess inside but this side is done looking good this side it's about to get done as well got it all bent how I wanted it all I gotta do now is take it off and weld it all the way let's see if we can weld this nice I'm happy how both of these came out. Uh, way thicker, inch and a half. Just stack welded it. Same on the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look good. It's gonna perform good. Now all I gotta do is put the motor back in and uh, test out for motor mounts that I have to go make some brackets. Trucks. Is that really what it can 
I'm gonna gonna blur your face anyway. You're You're too ugly for yeah. That's good. Do these need to be perfectly in those spots? Uh, uh, don't worry about those. No, 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 I'm gonna drill those myself. Yeah, let's not. Yeah, let's just do. uh, So this hole has to be two and three eighths. And add uh, add quarter inch all the way around. So make it wider for half inch. Add quarter inch on each end. I like how technical it is. I know, right? <laughs> Dude, this whole car, I just come up with these ideas last minute. I never have a plan, whatever I do, honestly. I just, uh... No, that's... Oh, uh, actually, yeah, make it... Yeah, exactly, five inches. Five by four? Yep. Five by three. Yeah, and then just cut some... Oh, man. What does he do? He's the Sound? He's the... Cameron's a genius. So you're famous now? No, um, Steve's not famous. <laughs> Are you famous? Someday I will be. <laughs> but yeah, check out his subscribe to his only fans. Uh, oh yeah? 2400 subscribers. You're kidding, right? No. <laughs> no, you're kidding. <laughs> hey, those holes look good. Did you record? No? You look good. Look at this guy. Just uh, up more. Yeah. Quarter. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Do you want to make it? Yeah. It kind of looks like. A- I know. You can't say that. <laughs> put the, put the. What size hole is this? Half inch. Yeah. Put the half inch in there. There you go. Yep. That looks okay, I guess. It'll look fine. That way I can uh, add my uh, strut bar to it. Get some heim joints and get it done. What you need, ones like this size? No. <laughs> How many traction bars do you guys actually build a day? A day? Yeah. Probably about five to six kits. And you right ship now. them all over the place? All over. Puerto Rico. Seriously? Canada. Man. Yeah, we shipped some kits to Hawaii recently. You are actually useful, you know. I don't care what they say about you, but yeah. without you, this shop wouldn't be what it is. The secret weapon. You are, man. Part of it. Part of a team. Yeah, part of a team. Pr. <laughs> what is actually going on here? Pr. Holy mother of God! Look at all these pieces. That's a lot of reinforcement. Yes, it's very big. Wow. They do a big tire. What engine? 6.7. Six, seven. Six, seven. You don't want to get a video of the power of the six cylinder that you go to the machine shop. The <laughs> <laughs> six seven engine rebuild going down over there. And who's doing that? You? I am. Yeah. Like you know what you're doing? Is that your fancy box over here? No, that's Spencer's. Ah. My area too. Why is that crankshaft on the floor? Uh, because there's a new crankshaft in ah, this one. Ah, okay, I was gonna say. 
because the neck from the oil. Oh. So this one is ready to go. Yep. All my instructions pistons. got blown around earlier. Man. All right, let's try this again so I can go home. I'm trying to think. So we just cut it out a quarter. I mean, it will be a little bit heavier, but you know. Is that 360? Got a piece. Oh, that's close. Man. Say hi to the ladies. Oh yeah, I forgot, you got one. You can't mess around anymore. You got a lady. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You're a good boy. We all are. I've been married only 18 years, man. What is going on here? Oh. It's okay. It looks kind of funny. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? I know. So this is very important job. Packing and shipping. Is that what you do? Making sure they're all nice and without scratches. These are powder coated. I think cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. But they, the tube style ends up like this. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Back nice. up. Holy. And then Connecticut, the Connecticut. All the mounts in there. Two boxes. Ooh. Yeah, it's no big deal. Uh, Look at these. You know, it's Beautiful. Be for, that would be for a Ford. Just a Ford kit. So, we come with uh, a Ram kit. But then, we also have traction bars on a truck. Outside. Man, it's yeah, been, woo! Oh, these are nice. These are really nice. I love these. Fabricated four link. And then matching fabricated bars over here. I'm not a big fan of trucks, but these look nice. I love the color too. All powder coated and stainless steel piece riveted on. With the matching uh with the matching mount in the front. Yep. Got that and then matching everything in the front there. Beautiful. So how many traction bars do you do a day? Well it depends. Depends. If I have the stuff, I've done like 12 sets in a day. Oh uh, space is space if I have stuff ready. If I don't I don't know, I kind of now, hold on a second. What's up with this? That's for a Ram rear bag kit. We'll bend these, we'll load these, locking washers in and bend these so you can ah, stick them up under it because it's really tight. Man, that's a lot of orders. You guys are kicking butt. Mm -hmm. And all these have to be done. List. And that's not even all of them. That's just... You guys ship all over the place, huh? Yes, sir. Man. Going places. Remember when you guys just started? I was talking about that the other day. We started at doing like metal signs. Yeah. How long was that ago? Let's go somewhere there. Some of them sitting here. Let's get it there. Huh? Some of them just sitting here from like the beginning of time. Right? Are you serious? Let me see. I don't know where they got where they came from. That's what he started making <laughs> in an old shop. And that, do you remember what what year was that? Yeah. 17. Was it 2017? Yeah, he started making these. I got one of these in my garage. Yeah. And we met on Craigslist, like what, 2016? I don't know, TSM days. <laughs> yeah, I was selling some parts on, on Craigslist. And this guy just, you know, asked, hey, how much can you do it for cheaper? I know I give you some kind of deal. He showed up and since then, boom, we clicked. Boom. Boom. And now we are buddies. buddies. And he's one of my first sponsors number, ever. Number one Bosnian. What number one Bosnian? I mean, he's number one Bosnian. These. I'm number one white boy. Well, yeah, he, one yeah, he was at one point was my one. number one white boy. I am now because I just got the parts. So yeah, I know. Week or so. And he's my first ever sponsor, and still is. Or well, not? <laughs> not. 
not number one, but he was my first. Hey, you couldn't have built either car without I know, him. he cut me a lot of brackets, a lot of brackets, a lot of hours we spent. Designed your control arms in 3D. Yeah, yep, he did. Designed my rear control arms and my Fiat Busa got a lot of his brackets on. Yeah, I, I remember when you, when you just started making these with that same plasma table, selling them for like, what, 20, 30 bucks? And now you got a freaking whole shenanigans. A lot of shit. A lot of stuff. And your number one uh, employee from day one. My new brand new welder that I got, TIG welder. I've never used it. And I just left it here and here it is. One of these days I got to come and pick it up. And you guys do. You guys build some stuff. Bumper down there. What's this for? Bumper. I know. Uh, big black truck out there. Man, this is not a weight like 400 it's pounds. Inch. Huh? It's quarter inch thick. Yeah. Quarter inch thick? Yep, yeah, that's it. Oh my oh, god. Man. My back it's wouldn't be able to do truck. it. Yeah. Recovery truck? Yeah. Torn, how, how long is it going to take you to uh, finish all these? Forever. Forever? A never ending cycle. Man. Well, that's good. It's good for business. Oh, color match? Yeah. And all the bumpers, all the plastics got smoothed and painted. It's about plastic. What color did it used to be? Was it a chrome? Yeah. Chrome inside? Yeah. That looks good. Very nice, man. Good job, bud. Same thing, we built stainless intercooler, or stainless radiator hoses for this intercooler piping. Wait, oh, yeah, I remember this truck. Yeah, same one. We finally got all that. Oh, yeah. It, took, well, it only took a while, but. A long drive. Oh, drive shaft. Drive shaft. Dynamic drive. drive lines. Yeah, go look at the drive. Go look at the one over there on the floor. They, they uh, build my axles. Go look at the one they built us over there, split in two. How long did that last? About 15 minutes. What? No way. Yeah, I swear. What happened? I don't know. It took the truck out of the street and broke the heat. Woo! That's, that's too much power right there. Yeah. Stainless radiator pipes. Dang. Custom this looks nice. Intake. That box, box looks sick. Put that on. Lid. I like it. These guys are busy, busy, busy. Parts everywhere. You gotta hire a cleaning guy. Too much stuff going on. Look like this. Wait, you got excursion? Why don't you have a yeah. selfie stick for your uh, camera? Uh, Where's that? Where's it at? Outside? Show you. Let me show you. I do have a selfie stick though. That's what that reminds me of. It is. It's because it is a selfie stick. It is. It's multi. It's going to SEMA. What? This truck? When are you actually going to SEMA? This year. You are? Yep. When is it? I, I don't know. Whoa. No way. You're building that? Yep. I don't know why it's there. You go. That's nice, man. I should go with you guys. Got it all done. As always, these guys are like brothers to me. Brothers from another mother. Anything I need, anytime. Any day, all I gotta do is call them up, say, hey, I'm coming. So, thanks again for watching, for following, liking. If you're not, do it, it's free. And that being said, peace out. <laughs>